Hey, do you remember me? That Belgian photographer that used to make a bunch of YouTube videos? I know, it's been over a year since my last video and I'm not gonna make any excuses about that because it is a matter of priorities and time. Um, in the meantime, I've started a blog again after a hiatus of a couple of years. Um, it's on birdstephanie.info because sometimes I rather feel the need uh, or uh, I feel more comfortable by writing something and showing pictures than by using videos. Um, so birdstephanie.info is going to be like the central point, the central place for my educational content. It will be probably mostly uh, words and pictures and occasionally a video when I feel like it. Like today apparently. The reason why I wanted to make a new video finally is because I want to talk to you, talk to you about a project that I've started a couple of months ago and I want, also want to show you some things. But it would be completely inappropriate to talk to you about this project from the comfort of my living room. I need to talk to you about this project from... The Wilderness. Oh well. You see, in the last year it has become very very clear how important it is to me to spend enough time in the outdoors, in nature. I've also met some really interesting people out here in nature and I found these people incredibly inspiring. I've also met a couple of really incredible people with a strong connection to the natural world. And I find these people incredibly inspiring. A couple of months ago Fujifilm approached me to work uh, with them on a project uh, for the new GF 250mm lens for the GFX system and I immediately saw an opportunity to combine that project with these wild people. So I decided to do a series of portraits of these people in their natural environment. So most of June I've been researching, planning, shooting and editing this project. And if you've been following me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you have probably seen the results already. Uh, and the behind the scenes video is also being featured on the Fujifilm Global YouTube page. But in case you haven't seen it yet, here it is. Hang on a minute. I have some more things to say about this project after the behind the scenes video. So keep watching. I'm Bert Stephanie and I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer from Belgium. For the Monster Lens project I took this GF250 f4 lens with me to take portraits of people who have a strong connection with the natural world even though they live in our Western society. These are still wild people. A long lens like this one gives a more observational look compared to the traditional focal lengths used in portraiture. But in this case I think it is a bonus. 
because I really want to isolate the people in the pictures because these wild people are also a bit isolated as they become more and more rare. By shooting wider in the sense of half body and full body, I'm making sure that there still is a connection between the subject and the natural background, uh, but at the same time, there's that little bit of distance between the viewer and the subject. And that's exactly what I want. Speed and flexibility are key in shoots like this. The autofocus on this lens is really fast for a medium format camera, one of the fastest that I've ever used. The extra focus buttons on the lens, on the sides and the top and the bottom, came in really handy and the optical image stabilization is a lifesaver when shooting handheld with such a long lens. A 250mm medium format lens will always be a bit on the large side, but it's actually surprisingly light, yet it feels very well built. The whole system is weather sealed and very sturdy built, so even with the 1.4 teleconverter, your whole system stays weather sealed and you can be confident that you can use it in any conditions. The biggest reason to invest into a GFX system is probably image quality. And the GF250 doesn't disappoint. The images are clear, crisp and super sharp. With that resolution you can print big and you have lots of options in post-processing. Knowing that these files are so rich and have an incredible dynamic range, I was able to keep my setups pretty simple and still get the shot, even if we had just a tiny window of good light. I generally shoot my portraits with the 63 or the 110, so shooting with the 250 was a bit outside of my comfort zone. But I got used to it pretty quickly and I think it worked really well for the kind of images that I had in mind. This lens really isolates the subject incredibly well. It still amazes me that I can work in beautiful places miles away from the nearest road and that I can still get those beautiful rich medium format images. This has been the most fun 
interesting, fulfilling and challenging project that I've done in years. So why stop? I decided to keep the project going and expand on it, shoot amazing portraits of interesting people, um, have interviews together with the portraits in a book and maybe essays. I could do an expo, a documentary, fine art prints, magazine articles, special wild nights with strippers. But I'm also gonna need money and time and gear and figuring out the logistics and just stop for a while. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's just look for people that are interesting that could be part of this project and just start shooting them and figure the rest out along the way. If you know someone that would fit the bill, that would fit this project, please let me know. Hit the comments or send me an email, whatever. That's it for this video. I will see you next week. Shouldn't promise that. I will see you next month. I shouldn't promise that either. I will just see you somewhere in the future. Bye.